Hobart for Meteorist Kentucky. I want to talk about uh, setting up um, coke ratios for beginning casters. Um, so what I did was I, I took um, some information from uh, C.W. Amon's book where you make a four inch uh, ring the size of the diameter of your furnace. You fill it full of your, your running coke and, and weigh that and to get a number. So I did that. And I got five pounds of coke for this particular size of running coke. Um, so once you have that number, then you can decide on looking at the metal you're going to be running. So if you're going to be running thinner stuff like radiators, some bathtub material that's thinner, then uh, you can actually lean out on your on your coke. Or if you're running some thicker kind of sprues and gates and splash material that might be a little thicker than you're used to running then you can ration your your ratio so once you have that five pounds then you can come over here and you can multiply it by eight to get 40 pounds of iron uh, or if you want to be closer to the middle of the run or or riching if you will um, then you can go to seven and one and multiply by seven to get 35 pounds or multiply it by six and get 30, multiply it by five at 25. And then as you're running thicker materials, then you're richening the ratio or leaning out the ratio. Um, and this could be very helpful if you are um, in various places running different kind of metal. So a lot of people run in the middle of the road and that's fine as long as you know what your bed coat or what your, what your coat source is. Um, different coat plants have different uh, BTUs, so if you're running a different coat that you're used to, you might want to play around with it and then stay in the middle of the road and not go too rich or not go too lean. Um, but there are times where running a little leaner might run a little bit faster, or if you're running richer, it might help get hotter metal and be able to melt some chunkier stuff. Uh, hope this helps any beginning casters out there, and good luck.